Hi, my name is Mariah Riggs, and I'm the director of the Main Street Landing Performing Arts Center. My Man Godfrey, made in 1936, is one of the best screwball comedies of the 1930s and a personal favorite. It is also, superficially at least, a movie about the Depression. Like Preston Sturgis's Sullivan Travels in 1941, Gregory LaCava's My Man Godfrey contrasts the poverty of the forgotten man during the Depression with the spoiled lifestyles of the idle rich. The studio's original choice to play Irene, the part eventually played by Carol Lombard, was Constant Bennett. The director, Gregory LaCava, would only agree to Constant Bennett if Universal Studios would borrow William Powell from MGM for a very large amount of money for the part of Godfrey. LaCava called Powell perfect. William Powell, for his part, would only take the role at Universal if his ex-wife, Carol Lombard, would play Irene. Although stars William Powell and Carol Lombard had been divorced for three years by the time they made this, when offered the part, Powell declared that the only actress right for the part of Irene was Carol Lombard. This really shows how respected an actor William Powell was at this time. During the contract studio days of the 1930s, very few actors had the cachet to make casting calls. But as the late great critic Gene Siskel said, to quote, William Powell had the charm that personified the age and made him magnetic to all throughout Hollywood. The director, Gregory LaCava, was a former animator and freelancer for most of his film career. He was known to be a bit eccentric and had a bad habit of holding studio executives in high contempt. When William Powell and LaCava had a major disagreement over how Godfrey should be played, they talked it out all night long over an entire bottle of scotch in Powell's dressing room. The next day, LaCava returned to the movie set with a very bad hangover, but Powell was nowhere to be found. The director then received a telegram from his star that read, to quote, We may have found Godfrey last night, but we lost Powell. I'll see you tomorrow. Now that's classic William Powell. Screenwriter Maury Raskin had an unusual method for preparing a screenplay for a film. He liked to work out the entire script with a group. In My Man Godfrey, he rewrote and improvised dialogue, often on the set, using the film's two leads and the director as his team to shape the script. The director, LaCava, also preferred this method of working and was known for reshaping scenes and writing on the set, often shooting his takes without even a finished script. One of my favorite tales from this film is how, when tensions would hit a high point on set, Carol Lombard had a habit of inserting very bad four-letter words into her dialogue, often to the great amusement of the cast and crew. This made shooting, not to mention the editing, somewhat difficult. But clips of her cursing in her dialogue and messing up her lines can still be seen in blooper reels kept at the vaults at Universal Studios. The cinematography by Ted Tatzloff glimmers in bold black and white. It also has a remarkable supporting cast, like Eugene Pallet, the befuddled dad Alexander, who has to lead his menagerie of crazy family members, and Gail Patrick, who plays Irene's nasty sister Cornelia. My Man Godfrey became a runaway hit, earning huge profits and six Oscar nominations, including director in all four acting categories. Although surprisingly, it didn't win in a single category. So sit back and revel in one of film's funniest and most delightful moments. Enjoy. <laughs>